Hello everybody. So for today we're going to just do a quick painting and coloring and doing mixed media with this piece here. But I wanted it. I know it, most people don't glue or don't paint beforehand, but I just feel like this one needs it. It is going to be mixed media, but again, it just, I have that feeling of it needs to be painted before I go off and do anything because otherwise it's going to look kind of weird because it's an old paintbrush. So there we go. And this is just going to be a cute little mixed media piece when we're done. Again, I'm just trying to make sure I paint as much as possible. So no one can see this background as much. there. Now I'm just going to take my leftover paint and just paint over this because I don't know what I'm using it for yet so might as well use it on something. There. And this set of videos, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to have them in separate videos. I'm going to do one video, but it's going to be kind of looking like it's edited, even though it isn't. Just so you know. So. Hello, everyone. Well, not hello. Sorry. Eh. Forgot that I'm doing a two-in-one video. So, sorry about that, but sometimes it's hard to remember. I don't like that. So never mind about that. I wanted to do something on the lines of putting this, these on. That's what I'm going to do for right now, anyways, my idea. Well, not really mine, but um, I got the idea from Marmy Small Art.
And this is just broken watches slash pieces. I don't know. I just figure altering a piece is just different from my norm. And that's what I was trying to do. It's just... Do something that's a little bit out of my norm. I'm just putting these jewels randomly on. If you haven't noticed, I'm not really being too particular with it. I think I have something that will break that. Give me one moment here. Actually, I think my regular scissors would break it. <laughs> Never bothered to try. Yeah, my regular scissors will break it up the way I want it to be broken up.
Again, I'm just throwing these a little randomly, but at the same time trying to make them a part of what's already going on. And my finger is so sticky that it's sticking to my finger. Which happens. <laughs> All right, so this will be the final piece. <clears throat> I am going to have to let it dry for a while, but yeah, I think that is actually utterly gorgeous. It looks like I bejeweled it, <laughs> but this is just old, yeah. just an old paintbrush I painted over top of. And added some clock pieces and some pieces of old jewelry that was broken in the first place. And it gives the jewelry a new life and the whole brush a new life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just figured I'd show you this because I think it's an awesome idea to reuse your paint brushes in any way shape or form that you possibly can so I really like this I hope again you enjoyed this video sorry about the briefness in part of it because of going off and making a two-part video into one video and forgetting about it enjoy the rest of your day or night bye